but I I want to greet all my people, our people in Juba. I have been out of Juba for 35 days today. And I'm happy that I'm back home uh, into the country and into Juba. Well, uh, my absence and the absence of the church personnel in Juba was a mission. And uh, I think I'm the last now to close this mission. This mission was invited, inviting us, the religious leaders of South Sudan, to the Vatican by the Holy Father, the Pope. And later on, we were invited also to London by the Archbishop of Canterbury. And that is why we have taken this uh, time uh, longer enough. I just left uh, London three days ago because of this same mission. Well, what can I say? Uh, this mission is what? The mission we were invited because these our elder religious leaders wanted to hear about South Sudan. What is going on in the country and what is the church doing in the country uh, about the peace? Actually, that is not there. Uh, this is to tell us that our religious leaders, the world religious leaders, are following us very, very closely. They know what is happening in our country, as I believe the whole world also knows it, surely. But I think our religious leaders have been hearing about South Sudan and they want to hear from us, who are their own uh, brothers in the country. And so I think, briefly, what did we say, what happened? What I can say is that our religious leaders in the world are very and very concerned about us, about our country, about the peace of South Sudan. And as it has already been started earlier, we also invited them to come and visit us, to come to pray and say a word about peace uh, to us in our country. And all of them are of good will, all expressed very sincere good will that if it is possible, they will do it. And therefore I want to say to all of us that uh, we are still looking for peace and the whole world is with us and we want to say that it is time, the way we have learned uh, from our side, Brothers and sisters, my fellow citizens in the country, it is time for us to begin a new life. Good enough, we are beginning now the period of Advent, the period of Christmas, very near. And it is telling us that let us begin a new life waiting for Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, very honestly, very sincerely, I must say, let us be touched by the word of God. Jesus is coming. Let him touch the heart of every South Sudanese so that this heart will for sure produce peace in this our country. It is my wish and my prayer, uh, and I greet everybody again, that uh, we are not uh, confused, but we are working for the peace of our country, and we believe that God will bring us this peace together with us. Bakita Radio. Radio Bakita. Sotel Kenisa. The voice of the church.